Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to my very first uh, episode or video on No Limits 2. I'm still playing on my old laptop right now, so my new one's on its way. So the, the lag is a little bit there, but not too bad. Um, first of all, apologies to anybody that plays No Limits 2 and are watching this and thinking, what the hell are you doing? Like, it was such a car crash. Um, I played around a little bit with No Limits 2 before I made the video, so I wasn't like completely wasting anyone's time because the process is a lot. And also I uh, had watched many, many videos on YouTube about how to do stuff. So I had a little bit of an idea on how to make things work. I went in and tried to do something probably a little bit too ambitious for like my first big coaster. And that was to do like a shuttle launch coaster. Should have gone for like a simple lift hill and a drop thing, but anyway, you know me. Um, so yeah, the game's great. I love it so far. I definitely haven't used it to its full potential. Definitely still learning. Um, there's definitely things I need to work out. Uh, but I've got the basics down. And uh, this took me quite a long time to do, considering it's quite a short layout and very simple layout. But um, I did manage to get it functioning in the end. So at the end of the video, I have put a POV front row of the ride and also just like a, an overview of the ride going as well. Um, there are some settings and things you have to do, it's not that easy. Obviously I'm used to playing Park Tech, which is like a tycoon coaster game. I also played Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and 3 in the past, and so um, I'm mostly into those games with building buildings and coasters, and the coasters in those games, you know, they look cool and stuff, but they don't have the realistic element that this game has. Um, so. I really wanted to jump onto this game. It's been out for a very long time, but um, I've never actually played it until now. And I'm really glad I have actually. Um, so basically you have to like build the track in all these different views, which could be quite complicated actually at some time. Sometimes I don't get quite the right view of what I'm doing, but anyway, I figure it out. And then you have to make sure the G-forces are all okay. You don't want to go into the red on the track, otherwise it could be dangerous for the riders. And also you have to check the speed and stuff. When I first built the loop, um, I did it slightly too big and the train didn't make it on the way back on the uh, reverse journey. Um, so I fixed that. Um, there's like a smooth tool as well. You debump all your, all your vertices in the track and that then gives you like a really smooth track. Um, my actual, my actually my favorite part of No Limits so far has been the custom supporting. If you watch my Parkitect videos, you know that I'd love to custom support my rides. Uh, I love to do all the support works and everything. The supporting on this game is so good, um, you basically just draw it with like the um, beam, you add like a footer and you draw the beams and stuff so you can do any angle, all that kind of stuff and the flanges and everything is really simple to add, it's just so you click them all on. Uh, the only thing I found tricky was lining stuff up in different perspectives but I've kind of, I get there in the end, it's just a longer process than I thought maybe it would be with supporting but the supporting is actually really simple. Um, in terms of what you can build and I really love doing it like uh, I definitely can see myself see myself doing like some bigger coasters with some really cool support work um, you know like Gerslauer coasters have really crazy support work so um, I maybe could do like something like a Eurofighter and do some or an infinity coaster and really do some more complex custom supporting um, right now obviously it's not like 100% perfect because I am learning um, but uh, I am happy with what I did. And you can actually copy and paste the supports around as well, which I found out from a tutorial. Like I said on YouTube, there's so many tutorials on No Limits 2, you really can't go wrong. You just have to watch them and then follow them a little bit and, and then you start getting the gist of how the game works. Um, it is a simulator game. So it's not really like a, it's not like a game aspect. It is just really like building a simulator roller coaster. Um, but the realism level and everything is just, I love it, it's great. And as you know, I love doing realistic stuff, so this is really perfect for me. Um, I'm just going to put out some No Limits 2 videos here and there when I'm building stuff. Um, let me know what kind of content you want to see from No, Lim no Limits 2, because obviously like the time-lapse building, it can maybe not be that interesting for some of you, I don't know, let me know. Um, but uh, I tried to like chop it down and just give you all the good bits. There are some bits where I'm totally confused and I... Oh my god, like someone, a part of the track kept twisting and obviously you have to use these roll, um, add a roll into the track and stuff to stop it from twisting and stuff, but one of them I just couldn't figure out and it was really, really complicated. Anyway, so I've done a launch coaster, it's a limb launch, it goes backwards first and upper tower and then it comes through the station into the second launch, which it goes through a vertical loop, it goes into like a 100 degree um, overbank turn into a spike and then it does the reverse journey back into the station. Um, so uh, it's really simple, 
but um, actually kind of complicated for me to figure out all the shuttle system, how that works. And I think I did it by fluke, if I'm honest. I don't know if I really know what I did, but I'm going to keep playing with it and figuring it all out. But uh, right now I'm just adding in the final... Um, so that's basically everything now for the time lapse. I'm just going to finish up do, doing the final supports on the two spikes of the coaster. Um, chopped, up, chopped out a bit of footage for you, so it's not too boring. But uh, then I'm going to lead you in to the POV of the ride and an overview. So enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this. If you want to see more No Limits 2 from me as I kind of figure out what I'm doing with the game and my journey. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye.